Elementary school kicked off National Autism Awareness Month by introducing a new sensory and self-regulating room equipped with calm lighting, beanbag seats, and soothing music. It's just one of many locals who are honoring this special month. News 11's Arlette Youssef with more. The sensory room was created with students on the autism spectrum in mind. However, school officials say all students are welcome. The project took close to a year to complete with careful planning. We went and observed and did a little more research on what a uh, sensory room would entail. So then the planning started. Nine, ten months of planning, coordinating and working, we finally are here. But the planning doesn't stop there. A schedule is being prepared for each classroom. Our special education teachers are going to be creating a schedule so that they can allow sensory breaks for their students to come on in and um, help with that self-regulation and help with that um, um, calming um, aspect of their education. And then they'll be able to go back into the classroom to refocus. Aside from large group breaks, students can go to the sensory room when needed. Um, small groups for individual students to bring them in and, and have a space where they can um, relax, calm, refocus, regroup in a safe, in a safe way. Yeah. Imperial County also showed support for the school's efforts. Chairman Michael Kelly is especially impressed by the room and everyone who put it together. I think it's dynamic and there's a lot of support from the school, the site council and the community and I'm very impressed by how they come together and do what they can to, to assist and help the kids with autism. Students will get to experience the sensory room in mid-April when the Westmoreland Union Elementary School District returns to in-person learning. Reporting in studio, Arlette Youssef, News 11.